Hi guys and gals if you're watching as well. Today I'll be going over the Logitech gaming software that you can use in conjunction with your Logitech G933 headset. So I'm going to bring it up right here. So the first thing you'll notice is the battery indicator over here with the lightning bolt inside of it. That means the headset is currently charging. When I unplug it you'll see the actual battery charge level of your headphones in a second. Come on now. Alright, it's being a little stubborn. Come back to that in a second. Okay, there we go. That was weird. Anyway, here's the battery charge level of my headset. So that's at 4 right now. I'm going to plug it back in so it can continue charging. So let's go on to the next one. So right here we have our profiles where you can have it do certain things when you're playing certain games such as Battlefield 4 or Skyrim or say for example watchdog or anything like that so right here is the you can call this the plus addition sign or the T whatever you want to call it where you can name a new profile describe it and what it what games and apps will use this and you can lock it to a game while it's running this right here scans for any new games this you can import or export any profiles and then you can also print it out for example say this key does that you can actually have that printed out and the default settings for your headset when you get it straight out of the box as I explained in the unboxing video but I'll go over it again in this video this is the mic mute and unmute button this is to cycle through the different lighting effects for your headset this is for your surround sound on and off and this is to cycle through the EQs alright so here that this cycle effect right here that would be your G1 this would be your G3 and then we come all the way down here and we have our G2 pretty self explanatory let's go on to the next one which would be the light bulb where you can adjust your colors so right here we have the default that it comes in with the headset you have their color cycle and this all changes in real time so as soon as you click it, it's going to change on your headset immediately so the color cycle will cycle through all different colors which should be pretty self-explanatory a solid color which stays that color whatever color you choose we also have a breathing effect where the pulsates like this and then you can have your custom lighting where it'll bring up this where you can the logo and sides where you can turn them off so this right here is the logo and this would be your side so you can turn your logo off so that won't use any light and your sides off so that's a way for people that don't want to have the lights on so they can get the most out of their battery life they can but let's turn this back on right now so this has pretty much the same effects as it is over here you have your color cycle breathing effect however you can choose how bright or dim it is and once again this is all in real time and then we have the rate of change for example with your color cycle how fast it switches to the next color or minus or how slow it switches to the next color and once again everything's in real time and now for the RGB aspect of it so once again the I'm gonna call this the plus click on the plus and then bring up your color wheel you can choose whatever color that you want and there's the RGB aspect of it and finally but not least you can sync that color across your Logitech gaming peripherals such as your keyboard or your mouse or any other headsets that you may have something to point out though that I've noticed for example when you have your logo turn off when you charge the headset the logo it comes on in a pulsate of blue while it's charging when it's fully charged it'll be a solid blue now with the logo off it'll turn on initially when you plug it in but it'll turn off so you have no way to know if the headset is still charging or when it's fully charged but that's some um, minor of course if you're using it while you're charging it you know it's it's charging it's just going to take a little bit longer but that's just something I'd notice for example if you turn it off have all your lights off and you're not using the headset currently but you have it charging but you don't know if it's fully charged or not but that's that's like I said minor let's go on to the next one this is your EQs your equalizers 
So we have our FPS, MOBAs, flat, drop the base, cinematic gaming, communications, and then your new EQs. Well, new EQ is something I added. But you can uh, press the plus, and then you can tweak around with the advanced equalize down here to get the sound to your exact specifications of however you like it. And right here is the volume for your headset. So right now, mine is currently at 100. I normally don't have it that high. I don't know how I got there. <laughs> right here is the microphone gain. The higher the microphone gain, the easier it is to pick up not only you, but additional background sounds. The lower you put it, the harder it is for it to pick up background sounds and possibly you. And then you can't actually move these, unfortunately, but that's fine. And let's go on to the last piece. Right here is the surround sound. And just like the G2 key, if you press that, it'll turn this off or press the power button right here, it'll turn off the surround sound. So this this headset uses DTS and Dopely Digital. So right now, it's on DTS 7.1. We also have First Person Shooter, Logitech Signature Studio. And you can have it where the Super Stereo mode, where it comes in from the front or from a wide angle. So that's the DTS side. Let's go to the Dopely side. So now we have our subwoofer and our supposedly surround sound even though it's a virtual surround sound. You can lower the sound from the front for example to like 9 and then you want to lower your sides to maybe 10 and have your background higher than the front and then the middle. You can do that. Or you can just leave it all 11 so you just be immersed in sound all around you. But that's all for the software right there. Let's go to the actual website for the headset. Okay, and then it's currently on sale now at, at the time of this video. It's on sale, $199.99. You can pick it up at the website. And it's a video for it. And this is just some of the features going over for the headset. So there's the Pro G audio driver. The audio sound in there is pretty spectacular, especially when you plug it into a PC. That's when you get the best performance out of it. This headset first and foremost was designed to work with a PC. Yes, it is compatible with other systems such as consoles like a PS4 or Xbox One, but its main focus was for it to work with a PC. Now, for those of you that like to play PC games as well as own consoles and like playing consoles and you want like a one-stop shop option for all your audio, Something you might consider doing is having, say, if your TV is compatible, having your t having all your systems, your PC, your consoles, send all their audio signals to your TV. And if your TV can handle uh, Adobe Digital 5.1 surround sound or whatnot, have that sent into a headset such as the Astro A50s. And that way you'll get your audio from all your devices to one headset and then just have your transmitter for the A50 connected to your PC so that way you can also use your headset as a mic so that's that's an option in case uh, this may or may not work for some people but this that's an option I just gave you but for the most part this thing works as intended especially with all the other consoles like I explained in my unboxing video with the Xbox 360 where I find it harder to hear my friends if I'm say in the party chat and I have yet to find a remedy to that problem so that's still a problem I can hear the game audio just fine it's just being able to communicate with my teammates they can hear me they say but I can't hear them as well when I'm playing the game so for example say I'm playing Left 4 Dead 2 which tends to get pretty loud on the game audio if I'm talking to someone and they're talking back to me, I can barely hear them. I'll have to stop what I'm doing and get away from the action where there's a least amount of noise coming from the game where I can hear them. So that's something um, I found a problem with these headsets that I didn't really have, or I should say I don't have with the Astro A50 when I use them instead. But that's not what this video is for anyway. However, uh, just going down this. so. This is the customizable RGB lighting tags. It's just going over some basic feature.
this headset is wireless in case you didn't know uh, about 15 meters away from the transmitter you can program the G keys to do whatever you want it to do once again I'm just going over the website page and this is just pretty much everything I said in the gaming software and then you can also have multiple sources of audio so for example this could be plugged into the PC then you have your RCA cable plug into the transmitter that's connected to your PC as well as the chat cable connected to your phone so you can also answer your phone while you're playing the game on your PC so it, it's pretty convenient I'll admit that it's uh, once again USB powered <laughs> and it has pretty good mic I'm not sure if I stated it when I started this video but every single bit of audio that you're hearing from me right now my voice right now is on the actual headset for this <laughs> I said it's on the actual headset it's on the actual mic of this headset so let me know if you guys like how it sounds does it sound clear am I picking up too much background noise because I do have my PC fans as high as possible so let's see if it uh, picks up any background noise and then it is very comfortable uh, if you guys enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up and I would say subscribe but I don't know how consistently I'll be putting out videos for example this one took a while to get out but uh, feel free to subscribe if you like and give a thumbs up if you thought it was a good video a uh, thumbs down if you thought it wasn't helpful at all but uh, thank you again for watching and have a good day